Hi there, my name is Christina Suntornvat and I am the author of All 13, The Incredible Cave Rescue of the Thai Boys Soccer Team. This is a nonfiction book about the cave rescue that gripped the world. So in 2018, 12 boys, ages 13 to 17, and their coach, their soccer coach, went exploring in a cave in Northern Thailand they were trapped there by rising floodwaters and it took an international rescue mission of thousands of people. It took them 18 days to get the boys out. And it was an incredible story that just gripped the world. And it's one of the biggest news stories that's ever happened to Thailand. Um, I'm going to read you a small section of the book. Uh, the book goes back and forth between the rescue operation that was happening above ground, trying to work so hard to find the boys and get them out. And, and the story also takes you below ground to show you what the boys were going through as they were trapped. Okay, so in this section, the boys have gone into the cave. This is, it's just a typical Saturday. They finished up with soccer practice and they have been planning on visiting this cave. They're a really adventurous group of kids and they love to go on these excursions together. And so th the boys and their coach have decided they're gonna go into this local cave and go hiking and exploring. Some of them have been together, but some of them haven't. Um, so they get on their bikes, they go to the cave, they've got flash lights with them in a rope they did not bring any food or water with them that's something that's really important to note um, and they start exploring and they're off they're off on a grand adventure so I'm gonna read you um, read to you from when they have gone really far back into the cave they went far back they went several miles into this cave system um, before they they got to the point where they were like oh I, th I think it's time for us to head home now okay so the wild boars team has reached a room that locals call hidden city or underwater world. Here, the roof of the cave lowers over a pool that exists year round, even in the dry season. The water level of the pool is high right now, which pinches the airflow, making it gust even faster. With the roaring wind, the room is lovely in an eerie, haunting sort of way. Names of past adventurers who have reached this point are scrawled into the walls. Tom Luang Cave still goes on, though few people other than the most dedicated explorers have ever made it past that point. Hardly anyone ever gets this far in the first place. It's a huge accomplishment, especially since some of the boys haven't even been inside the cave before. The boys have hiked in almost five kilometers or three miles, and they have done most of it barefoot. In a moment like this, you have to stop and soak it all in. Coach Eck says that the cave keeps going beyond the pool, but if they want to see it, they'll have to get wet again, and this time they'll have to dunk their heads underwater. Do the boys wanna go or should they head back? D, the only one on the team wearing a watch, tells the others what time it is. Ooh, they've spent almost three hours inside already. If they want to get out of the cave in time for night, he's one of the members on the team, in time for him to make his party, they are going to have to absolutely fly back home. They decide to turn around. Everyone scrambles and squirms back toward the entrance. They swim back across the water they crossed on their way in. They hustle forward in single file, trying to go as quickly as possible without twisting an ankle on the slippery rocks. And then Coach Eck hears Biu, who is up at the front of the group, call back to him. Coach, come see, there's water here. Coach squeezes past the others to the front of the line. Hey, are we lost? Asks one of the boys. Did we take a wrong turn? No, assures Coach Eck. We can't be lost. There's only one way out for sure. The boys point to the source of their confusion. They should be approaching the three-way junction where they came in. But now there's a pool of swirling water that wasn't there before. The water completely blocks the way forward. The passage they came through is somewhere under that turbulent water, but they can't see it. Tom Luang is flooding. So that is day one of this 18-day rescue. And that so their, their adventure is just getting started. How would you feel if that was you? If you were already in this dark cave um, that's like 
you may never never have been in there before you may never have even been inside a cave like that before and then all of a sudden you see this water where there wasn't supposed to be any water what would you be thinking like what would be going through your mind what do you think was going through the coach's mind um, so I, I hope that you enjoyed hearing that little bit about all 13. The rest of the story, I promise you, is just as gripping and just as exciting. Um, if you enjoyed that, you can learn more about the book on my website at www.soontornvot.com and you can order the book there and, and check out some more things there. Thanks so much.